we start, our producer, Dylan, says, all right, we're on a podcast. I think we are. It's where like, the oh, fuck are we? Thank you for the reminder. Yeah, where <laughs> am I right now? <laughs> Cheers. Oh Cheers. Loving you. I am loving this drink. Me too. I, this is, I, I know I say it every time, but this is my favorite. I appreciate that. You're I made it. It has ritual, um, like uh, fake tequila. Mm -hmm. Fakila. Fakila. Oh, that's cute. I love that. I love it. Um, and it has uh, like a strawberry puree, mm. with has, which has some caffeine in it or something. I'm loving mm. it. It's acidy. I love it. It's acid. It's burning the back of your throat. I love it. The, the harder the burn, the better. Do you remember? Do you remember what that was like? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> we were just talking about all the um, men we've been set up with, all the opposite men we've had on stage. On old screen. men. Old men. Okay, Why? come on. Old Why men. Why such old men? Okay, we How shared gross. the same beast. He was we significantly older than us. Oh, yeah. I mean, that picture, she just showed me a picture. Look it up if, you, if you're listening. A picture of Christy. <laughs> no shame. Um, Christy, uh, no shame to Stephen Buntrock. No, oh, Blanchard. Oh, God. Terrible. Sorry. What is that? Who's, who's, who's Stephen Buntrock? Stephen Buntrock was actually my guest on for a while before oh. Donny Osmond came in to be guest on. But Stephen awesome. Blanchard. Lovely, lovely. You don't even remember everyone's name. That's no, okay. I don't. No, it's hate. A, it's been that long. It now has, we're it has old. Been, it's been 15 How years. the tables have turned. I know. But looking at those Getty <laughs> pictures of you and him together, I'm like, whoever thought this was okay? I remember Alan Menken telling me, he was like, you know what? You're the closest thing to, or was it Linda Wolverton? I don't know. She was awesome, by the way. Did you get to meet her? I know. Oh, she's, I'm surprised. You deserve to meet everybody. Thank you. Um, they were like, you're the closest age to Belle that we've ever had play. Because it's like the youngest <laughs> Belle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, she's going to fuck it up. She's not going to make, you know. And yeah. I was like, I've got to show everybody. Yeah, yeah. She, but um, yeah, no, uh, the, I, well, the creepy. Very creepy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not, And Stephen a, stuck his tongue down my throat. <gasps> the last. What? The last kiss. No. I just remembered it when we were talking and I was like, this man oh. stuck his t tongue so far down wow. my throat. I mean, just, as a send off. As yeah, you're you're welcome. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's also like you Gross. look so you're 19 in those photos, but you straight up look 12. I'm sorry. I was like, I was very young and sheltered coming from Disney. I was really straight off of that. And yes. well, I wasn't an angel, but like I'd gone to college. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, like, come on. Like, there's no substitute for a grown ass woman. You cannot just be dating younger women expecting to get, you know, oh, she seems mature. Oh. But like, my husband's like, um, yo, like, what is it with guys? Like, 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 I'm into MILF stuff. Like, I'm like, yes, you are. Yes, you yes. go ahead and watch that MILF stuff. Yeah, maturity, uh, <laughs> wisdom is attractive. It's sexy, it's hot. He just, no, but he actually really likes the physicality of a woman who's like, a woman. He's like, I don't want to be with a, a woman that's girl. creeping. <laughs> a woman uh, that's been like a woman, like a woman, not like a little girl's body. Ooh. My husband oh, likes see. women. Yes, I see. I see. And how many like women a, does he like? Just me. <laughs> just me. <laughs> and every time I think I'm like, oh God, I'm getting older. He's like, you look so fucking hot. Oh, and I'm like, oh, how, I'm so glad he says it out loud. Laid, but Have you ever showed him one of your old photos though of you young and, and not you know, a woman? You know what he says? What? The proper response. I would have totally bagged you when I was that age. Oh, that's cute. When I was that age. I love his confidence. Yeah. That's adorable. This is great that we're getting onto something random off the off the bat. I know. I know. I <laughs> this know. This is what we want. We would just want to hang out with each other. I know. I want to get to know you more. With big black microphones right touching I know. This is lips. how everybody hangs out, right? This yeah. is how everyone brunches. With this is how you <laughs> bond between you, me, and the wires that have been all of our face. Sometimes, too, where I'm talking to you and I'm like, <laughs> I, it's... We just have had such parallel lives and careers and that I'm like, is anyone else interested in this? Like, of course it's happening to us and you know, musical theater, you bring in the musical theater and-, and You're like career. really scared of bringing up musical theater. Well, I just think, you yeah. know, it, not, not a lot of people care or something, but of yeah. course, how can we not talk about our lives? I, I think it's all, I honestly think we're gonna find our tribe and guys, if you are loving what we're doing, can you please rate, subscribe, review us? Mm. Like we're obviously a very new podcast. Mm -hmm. And we're having so much fun, yeah. but we want to make sure that you're engaging with us. Totally. We love you guys. Today, speaking of engagement, mm -hmm. um, we have somebody who's like amassing uh, like a billion views on YouTube. Oh my gosh. Should we uh, read about this lovely sure, person? Please do. He's... Wait, first I want I first I wanna I gotta show you this picture. I found a Oh, great... are we doing a picture? I gotta show you this picture. Oh fun, let's do the picture. It's and then, am it's I a, doing a picture? Or you, you, doing do, a picture? you do. You do. You do yours. Give it, give it. Mm, that's what people are gonna. Those are the notes. Can you guys stop talking over Can you each guys other? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I really like the podcast, but I hate the sound of your voices. I, <laughs> I love. You that guys average. look great, but you sound so stupid. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. I love that one. Sometimes I'll see reviews. People will be like, I was a really big fan of yours. And then you said X, Y, and Z. And you, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if you hate us, don't say you hate us. See the door. Yeah. Constructive criticism. Oh, that too. Construct- and oh. also see the door. See the door. Okay. So we, we wanted to, we've been looking at so many pictures and we said, let's find the worst picture, the absolute worst picture of us. We uh, love. A, a red carpet event. <laughs> I'm going to show you one. I don't know where the hell I am. Talking about productive. Oh, I know where I am. Right. Constructive Tra- criticism. Constructive so. criticism. I'm going to criticize myself right now. I'm just going to go straight to the source. Okay. Annalisa Vanderpool at the American Choreography Awards. What? what? Do they even have those anymore? I'm sure they do. Because choreographers deserve notoriety. But why am I there? Why are you there? Yeah, who invited me? I don't know. Do you not remember? I don't know. They shouldn't have. Because I showed up in the skankiest, trashiest outfit. Oh, no. I cannot wait to see this. It's Please. terrible. Here's here's why. And I don't want to body shame or anything. But I had done absolutely no work on my body. I mean, like, not even nothing. Just nothing. <laughs> like, And when I mean nothing, I mean eating whatever I want. Not just not working out, but like... Not a tan, not a nothing. And I was like, I know, I'll wear a very sexy see-through black sequence dress with no bra. Um, I must have been 19. The kicker here is that my mother really encouraged me to wear this dress. And I really, if she was still around today, I'd give her hell. Yeah. I love you, mom. But what the hell were you thinking? I mean, I look like shit. I look terrible. (laughs) And I also look really so emo and so goth. I was going through my goth stage. Anyway, I'm going to show it to you right now. Oh yeah, I've seen this. Okay. Isn't it terrible though? No, Who did I, I think, think I you was? look really beautiful, and I think that I think that your body actually looks beautiful. I think if this is going wo- how I wanted it to I'm go sorry, at all. Sorry, but I mean, I love baby Annalisa. Oh, you're oh and I'm saying it wrong, Annalisa. Oh, I've got a huge bagel bagel belly. So you should love that bagel belly. Look how beautiful it is. I see. I in in 2023 Christie's lens, I see it, and I just with kinder eyes. They say you're that. sweet. I, I just I guess I just feel like I accented. Like we can shit on it. I guess. Let's. Yeah, I'm just. I, I do see emo hair. Emo hair. It's I'm, like I, that, I, that bang, but like a little volume in the back. I look nuts. I just think it's funny that I was like, I know what I'll showcase. My muffin top. No. You know what I mean? It's just so funny. Um, it's also very inappropriate. And I think you can see my nipple. Oh, you can? Can you see my nipple? No, right I can. Let me see it. I love your nipples. So are your breasts the same size now as they were back then? Um, No, they were bigger then. I don't know why. I... How I think interesting. I just, wait. Your body's that, changed. Yeah, my, my body fluctuates. I've never done any work. You know, I've never got any work done. Okay. You ready for I mean, this? they're probably a lot lower now. What? Oh my, okay. wait, shoot. Now I really, I actually really like that one. You like this outfit? I'll tell you one I don't like. Sorry, Matt. Look at, look at, look at, look at, look at. <laughs> During New York premiere of Disney's The Cheetah Girls. This, That's this, crazy. Look at this. I'm literally wearing, okay, velvet, turquoise velvet. No, turquoise corduroy mm-hmm, mm-hmm. with a smattering, if you will. <laughs> like it literally, I remember it was like bumpy. I remember those being. I don't bumpy. know what that is. That is bad. It, and, and no, it was it was zebra. Is it a zebra? It's like zebra skin on both. On legs. a jean. It's a it's a it's a zebra on a jean. Yeah, and then I also jean. have, by the way, I also am showing my midriff mm-hmm. for no reason. Yeah, that was the thing done then. And, and I and I have a see through black. Sequin top. I blame Britney Spears. And why did I not? Those are finger curls in my hair that needed desperately to have a finger through them. But your little, your face. Isn't uh, your you, face you're sweet? so sweet. We, we love, love we love little us. I know. So much. I know. We want to love little us yeah. for sure. For sure. Yeah, I know. I want to go back and love little me more. Well, kisses to 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 little us. Well, yes, kisses to cheers little us. to little us. Yes, and and cheers to big name bitches us. Oh yay! yay. We love best. you so much. Uh, one day at a time. Secondly, yeah. Todger Call. Oh, God. Let's, let's introduce him. Let's okay. introduce him with this fabulous bio. Mm-hmm. Todger Call is a multi-talented performer, composer, actor, director, choreographer, and social media personality who rose to prominence on and after his appearance on American Idol. He continued to create content and build his brand on his YouTube channel, which has over 3.6 million subscribers and 88, 886... I'm bad with numbers. It's okay. Million channel views. So that's almost a billion. I bet by now he's... Yeah, there. Isn't that crazy? I can't even go on. I mean, do you want to read the rest of this? So many. M- Mupp- do Muppet I? Babies. Do I? I'll do read it. Read some okay. of his credits. The drag. Uh, I mean, yes. He, his namesake television show, Todrick, aired on MTV. He's appeared so many times on RuPaul's Drag Race wow. and Drag All Stars and then Muppet Babies. He was a, originated a character. Um, Bob's Burgers, Greatest Dancer, Celebrity Big Brother. He did that. He was really good on The Masked Singer. On Broadway and so many shows. I know, Kinky Boots. I can't. And he's, I can't. He composed, this is what I think is the coolest thing. He composed The Magic Happens par- Parade at Disneyland. <gasps> right, right, right. And so we, we're just going to talk to him. And Oh, that's right. I forgot he was in a Taylor Swift video. No, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, you need that. to calm down. He's in that. Oh, shit. And you're a Swifty. in 
Ryan on the house. Tantric my baby. Call. Tantric Will call you give her here. a clink on my behalf? My is baby, it too baby, far? Baby. Okay. No, it's all a thing. Oh, nice. Yeah. No, I am so happy that you guys are meeting finally. Mm. Oh Can you believe that we've never met yeah, with no. all of your innings and outings with Raven Simone? Or are you talking about Raven Simone's last name? Yeah, she says it's, it's Raven Simone. 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 Oh, I thought it's Simone. Yay. Since when? Well, there is a, a, an accent over the E, and it's always been there. She, like you would. She did this. She said this. She said it on a video. When, yeah, when and, she, and, and and RuPaul said it. And if RuPaul said it, it it's real. Gosh, yes. I, wish I, I, I wish she had told me literally twenty five years ago. I love RuPaul. When I was a little Who theater doesn't? girl. Mm -hmm. Um, with very Catholic Italian parents, mm -hmm. I would literally like. I am obsessed with RuPaul, and the fact that he's like, I mean, RuPaul you adjacent, like etc. Do you like? He likes your drink. So, really so we're good. drinking okay. Shirley Temple. Well, why did I get this little Polly Pocket? I know. Cup. I know. <laughs> I saw that. This I mean, how y'all treat your guests? Yes, oh, yes. Big right. name yeah, bitches. Again, Wait, yeah. if you're not watching Todrick's drinking out of a tiny, tiny tumbler, almost okay, a shot glass. I fucked up. I and got these very cute glasses from Amazon, and unfortunately, there enough. were two large ones and two small ones. Mm. Okay. We got the small one. Well, can, yeah. What's in this, Christy? So actually, it's a uh, it's it's a raspberry puree. Mm -hmm. um, it's actually no, um, I'm lying. I totally cheated. Mm. It's a ritual. Uh, oh god, this goes full of shit. It's ritual tequila, and then it's got um, uh, what is that fucking thing from Starbucks? Starbucks refresher, so it's like strawberry puree and caffeine. Enjoy. Oh, I so love like, it. Get I jacked up and talk about Todrick fucking yes, Hall. Yes, Todrick fucking Hall. Yes. What a fabulous name. I don't know where to start oh, with your name, so with your gorgeous eye oh color. God, so Stop it. Ah. Stop it. Oh, I, see, so I saw him in Austin. And yes, we, I saw him backstage. Mm -hmm. I saw him get dolled up and get all the makeup on. Mm -hmm. And he, oh my God, he's stunning. How, well, now, how did you guys meet? How did we meet? Oh, girl. Wait, what? Do you remember? I don't remember. How oh did... my God. Well, I, I, I don't remember it being juicy enough to say girl <laughs> and leave it at that. I mean, I wish it would have been more juicy, but I, I know was, what happened. He was at a taco shop and I met him okay. and he looked at me and he was like, hey, I really love what, you know, I love Disney and I love, and I want you to be Belle in my YouTube video. Mm -hmm. And I was like, YouTube, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> wow, we are I had old. no idea who he was. And I was like, he seems really cool. His vibe is so awesome. And this is after American Idol and after all the YouTube stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he was like, he's like, pe he was peak. He wow, was wow, peaking, wow. Peaking, peaking, peaking peaking more, but like, <laughs> he was already like, like Todrick, you mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. And so I was like, I don't know this whole world of YouTube. And he was part of the reason why I started to look into YouTube. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? For real. Well, you inspired welcome, me. Oh, I'm yeah. sure a lot this of people tell you that. This is all because of you. And thank, thank, you. thank you. I'm sure a lot of people tell you that. We, you are inspiring. We were just listening to your music and when we were getting ready for we the were. <laughs> Yeah, just oh my gosh, I, thank I know, you. not just because you're here, just because we freaking love it so yeah. much. Yeah. And thank love you. you so much. Well, I cannot believe I'm meeting you. I, I have already had this fangirl moment with Christy, but I love you. I just think you're so funny, yeah. so ridiculously talented. And I I feel like I've met you because I did stand outside the stage door after a performance of Beauty and the Beast in New York City. Oh my God. And um, I was just obsessed. And I only went to go see the show because you were in it. No. Yes. I was did I come obsessed. Out? Yes, you oh, came yeah, out. Okay. And I got to see you at the stage door okay. and everything. Oh, good. And you were very, very sweet. But there were so many people there. And they were like kids that should have been there. And then me, like towering over everybody, <laughs> like too old to be at the stage door trying to get an autograph from Belle. And I wanted them to have their moment. But I love Raven Simone Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Simone Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Simone. Yeah, yeah, Simone. Yeah. And, um, um, Simone yeah. or Simone? Yeah. She, I, she'll come on someday. She'll yeah. come on this someday. Some yeah. this <laughs> Can I ask how old you were then? Actually, how old are you now, if you don't mind? Ooh. Uh, so, okay, okay, I want to ask. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, 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 16. Okay, I want to ask. How yeah. old were you then? Well, when you now were... everybody's going to Google it anyway. I'm I mean, 38. Years oh, we're the exact same age. It so we were the exact years. same age when you came. Oh, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Wow, I love that. It's. I always think of anybody who had seen Raven's Home or cared about me would, was younger or something. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. So. But you're no, old, no, no, baby. No, no. <laughs> Listen. You're old, baby. Oh, hun. Todrick is so many things Disney. First of all, let's look at his tattoo on his arm. It's okay. awesome. Oh, my God. Can we Ooh, talk about cool. that? It's a Mickey yeah. Mouse, but not. It looks like a rendering of an old school animation. Hmm. Mickey. Yes. What is the story behind that? It almost that? looks like an there, anime I'm Mickey. I'm going to forget the, the artist's name, but there is, okay. there is somebody that I follow on Instagram and she's incredible and mm -hmm. she lives in Poland. So I flew to Poland just to get this tattoo. Literally wow. to get this tattoo. Wow. By the way, you just came in from Switzerland, right? Yeah, yesterday. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you? What were you doing in Switzerland? Oh, the, I was doing Pride. Sorry? I was doing Pride in Switzerland, oh, that's Zurich. Right. It was crazy. We performed for 60,000 people. Wow. It was just insane. And was I, it clean? Who, like everyone says Switzerland is so damn clean and mm -hmm. like... Holland. It was clean. It was incredible. I had such a great time. I did not know that Tina Turner, you know, who just passed, may she rest in peace, mm -hmm. and Tina's at the Pantages right now. So I've just been like on a Tina Turner, like, 
just kick. kick right now. Yeah. But I I just found out that she lived in Zurich, Switzerland for like the last 29 years of her life. And she she passed. That's there where she passed. Because every people just go there and they love it because it's such an incredible place. And everybody was so sweet, so kind. Right. Every time I've ever gone there to perform, they just shower you with so much love and oh. chocolate. And oh, chocolate, was, yes. Did yes. you ever move there? I don't know that I would ever move there. I don't know if it's my vibe, but I do absolutely love it every time I go there. It's just like, I think we're so spoiled as Americans of like the customer service everywhere else pales in comparison, uh -uh. in my opinion, mm -hmm. when you go places, mm -hmm. they're just not like trying to work for a tip. So they're like, what well, do you yeah, want? they are. It's called a livable wage. <laughs> yeah. So they're making money like to live on Which yeah. is rather is, than us have people that yeah, need they're, tips <laughs> to survive. Yeah. They're, they're saying to you, we're not, I'm not your servant. Just because you decided to eat out tonight doesn't mean you're a king or a queen and I'm serving you. You just, you're at a restaurant. Yeah. Big deal. I'm just going <laughs> to bring you your plate of food. It's right though. Wage, I know. Yeah. I don't know where the whole Gordon Ramsay crazy, you know, know chef mentality came from yeah it's just food y'all it's not rocket science or surgery i get it i get it i do love food i will say austin's food scene and that's where i saw him last mm -hmm. is Fabulous. wild the tex-mex oh my god mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh do you eat any more mcdonald's after your viral thing way back oh my gosh it's so bad christy i eat mcdonald's oh non-stop so do you? What's your what's your go-to order there? I get what I said in the meal. I get a double cheeseburger. It would, I get a McFlurry sometimes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and I'm in a McFlurry, but usually just a double cheeseburger with a large fry and a large Sprite. I Have you it. tried the purple, um, what's his name, shake? No. No, no. We need to talk about I'm not, this. I'm not a very adventurous eater. This is something that we deal with all the time. My oh, boyfriend's no. here uh -huh. in the studio watching, which, by the way, we have Liam. to talk about your boyfriend. Oh, yes? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, who you followed before you followed me. I don't know if I yeah. followed him before I followed you. I go through phases where I follow and then I unfollow everyone because I think I'm Beyonce for one account and then I follow everyone again. And he just happened to get re-followed before I followed something, you back. Something, something like that. It's I just funny. Tadric. I loved it. I was like, Todrick followed you and not me? How dare he? He is everything. He is, he is oh everything. He is so talented. Oh, well, he coming was... from you, that means a lot. You've done literally everything there possibly is to do. No, like legitimately. I, I mean, this is, is... Look, this bio is insane. You don't even need to look at it. You just ask him. I mean, Honey, I know a lot because he I'm obsessed with him I am she is obsessed with you it's just weird like maybe I shouldn't be but I really am um okay so he uh most recently the most the one things I'm so excited about for him mm -hmm. was when he was the voice of a frog on was it which, which Muppet Babies on Muppet Babies I play Carlos on Muppet, on Muppet Babies, Babies. what's, what's it like Carlos. voicing a, a character it's so much fun yeah. I would even when I watch it I'm like is that me like did I make that voice mm -hmm. it's like I tap into this thing that I can't do any other time what was but it could you do your voice I don't think so okay can you do a warm up before you do it no, I just go in and then I see him and then this like little cute voice comes out that I can't do when I'm not in the room. But, but you're magic. The image, it's just I see the image and it just makes me be like. <laughs> do you warm up before the shows, before your concerts? Yes. Of course, right? Not an insane amount, mm -hmm. but I warm up enough. En to, enough to, to feel comfortable with the first song. Yeah. yeah. I also sure. think there's like a transformation process because I saw it firsthand when he was getting into like the, the zone. Drag, yeah. And so much of that was like uh, his his uh, dancers like being around him mm -hmm. it's sort of I felt the vibe of them being closer and closer and closer to him th as time went on mm -hmm. and it was like it was like an organism seeing everybody move and so that's why I'm always so protective over Todrick because like he's so talented you must be fucking exhausted I am you must be so no truly that's a, though, you're I truly so, am I literally like put that note in my <laughs> I just wrote that in my phone for Todrick I was like you must be fucking exhausted <laughs> because you do you do so much I all mean, the time too yeah he's, what, like, he's going back to Austin again he's done a world tour what keeps since him going I is him. it Liam I mean truly like how do you not just I don't know I just I love what I do but we are in a very strange time which I'm thankful for I know that the pendulum is swinging and everybody is like so woke and everybody every it, it is a scary time to be a person on the internet right. because you say one thing mm -hmm. or you do something. What do you, you mean, make Tundra? Tundra? <laughs> You? And that and that is the part that I don't love because I'm such a theater kid. I came from like having to work so hard, eight shows a week. I love that work. Like ethic. you show and up. I, mm -hmm. I show up, and that's what matters. And yeah. and it's just a very different world being out here in LA. Mm -hmm. You know that. I mean, you I both mean, have I don't done. Like me. I'm not here anymore for a reason, honey. <laughs> yeah, it's just really hard, and it, it's 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 it is. Some days I wake up and I'm just, today I'm having one of those days. Because by the way, I called Raven on the way here oh, to tell did? her I was doing this. So and funny. she sent me this picture to show to you. Oh too. my God. Oh what? my God, what? She just sent this picture. I was like, oh, we she said, like, send oh God, them my love. My she said, I love those bitches. Aw, we should FaceTime that, that woman right now. Yes. She ah! just sent this Ooh. for you. Okay, should we about. send a picture back? 
We should. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We should. We should. I know what that face is about, though. Oh, no, I'm worried to send one back. She just means we need to, we need to talk. Um, oh, shit. You know what that face means? She just means, like, where, you, where have you been? That was a face for you. Yeah, just like, oh, she my She sent God. you a message through me. Am I the carrier pigeon? Yeah, 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 yeah. She, and pro, uh, you know, just in, in all good fun. Can we just talk fun. about how powerful she is and that she literally just sent a picture to Todrick that communicated an entire narrative to you. I mean, it's true though, right? That's, That's what we a do. Powerful woman. Yes, it's, yeah. you know all it's the like faces. It's like bridesmaids when she says, "We can communicate with just a look." Uh -huh. Yes, exactly, yeah. and, and we exactly really can. I know she's happened. like, "Where have you been?" Yeah. Kind of, kind of like we need a, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we need a hang. I yeah. Love yeah, yeah, that. yeah. Um, so so much Broadway, so much theater. What was your favorite show? Memphis Color Purple, Kiki Boots. Ooh, that's so hard. You have such hard questions. I don't know why. I mean, and they seem like pretty normal questions, but mm -hmm. no one ever asked me these. Um, because you've been away from theater so so long, and I want to know: Do you miss it? Would you go back I to theater? I miss it so much. Mm -hmm. I want to do nothing more than go back. In really? fact, I just got a potential offer as I was walking into this room, but yes. I can't say what it is. Mazel. To to go back to Broadway, <gasps> and if, if it happens, I'll be like, cancel everything. I'll go back to you New York. Will. And do you will. Know, yeah, you know what they has, pay, right, Todd? I don't give a <laughs> fuck what they pay. Oh my god! And I, I want to be blessed. around people who want to work really hard totally. and show and up every day. Eight what shows a luxury that is, right? Yeah, because people just don't do that here, and it just is a very it's. Not everyone. Some right. people do do that, but not everyone. It's a culture, just in general, it's not like that. Um, yep. But I, okay, I would say that growing up in Texas, I had a very difficult time with my blackness because I was, I was in a dance studio and in a school where there were hardly any black people, and in the at the dance studio I was with, there were there were no black people. It was there. like Miss Alyssa's, yes, like all the pageant girls. Yes, I went. I grew up in a school <laughs> called Tip Tap Toes. And yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's adorable. And then I went to Ballet Lubbock where there was one other black dancer, but we were never in the same level. She in was Lubbock. You were in Lubbock. Lubbock, Texas. Oh, I've been to Lubbock so many times. <laughs> oh, you've been to Lubbock. Just the I tour. Our Disney tour goes yeah. through okay. Lubbock all the time. Lo I love it in Lubbock. No, I love it. <laughs> love it in Lubbock. What the fuck is in Lubbock? Um, a lot of... A lot of Actually, a lot of really talented people I'm are in sure. Lubbock. You have a lot of time to fine-tune your craft mm -hmm. when you live in the panhandle of Texas. I got it. And, um, and so, anyway... I think the color purple was like transformative for me and such a life changing experience because my whole journey about getting on Broadway was just so one in a million. Like no one gets on Broadway in that way. Mm -hmm. I was on a cruise ship, quit the cruise ship because I saw an audition, flew there to New York mm -hmm. with no money. My mom used money that I don't even know to this day where she got it from. Mm -hmm. I went there, got the audition, made it to get a call back and went that night to go see the show. Um, and so, when I saw the show, it was just the first time that I had seen an all black cast of people that were just doing something that I felt like spoke to me. Mm -hmm. They were contemporary dancers that were technically trained. And for the, it was the first time in my life I remember thinking, I am so proud to be black. Mm. And that was when I was 20 years old. And 20, that, that's a long time mm -hmm. to go through your life not understanding why you should be proud to be black. But I just saw a lot. That's why I love That So Raven so much because she was the only person that was representing black people and there was a level of musical theater there. Mm -hmm. And it was like, a, it was like- And a, her name was in the title and it wasn't just Disney Channel, it was everywhere. And, yeah. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, so, and, and you don't realize at that time what representation and what diversity does for you, but that, that's so Raven and Cinderella with Brandy in it are, no. the, oh. are the two movies that changed my and life. Yeah, yeah. Or the yes. two things that well, changed my life Well, and then he also most. parodied uh, the Cinderella, well not parodied, you like remade Cinderella oh, with right. Brandy. I know, yeah. I know that I, how, what an honor, what an honor. It was. Um, I saw you in The Color Purple with Fantasia. Shut up. I did, I stood, I stood, I wanted tickets so badly. And it was, she's my favorite, C Cecily, really. She was, Cecily. Seely. Seely, excuse me. Um, she was my favorite Seely. I saw Cynthia Revo and I saw um, Fantasia and Fantasia's, I don't know if it's because of her own life story. Yeah, oh Fantasia, gosh. yeah. Or, or, she I'm freaking just, out about the fact that we were in the same room once again, and I didn't know. No, I know. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know till years later either. Yeah. You know, but um, I she moved me so much, and then years later I saw Cynthia Revo. But my favorite was really Fantasia. So the fact that you well, got to do what a treat! She's yes. she's playing it in the movie that's about to come out. You know, they're making a remake of the Broadway show. And yes, Fantasia and I know. But, and I I I was so happy when she got that part. But I'm not surprised. I'm sure her audition, whether it was it was for Oprah or whoever she auditioned for, was fabulous. She's so emotionally connected to that role. And Jennifer Hudson was in it at the same yeah. time and um yeah what a beautiful we were just story. talking about uh representation in um uh, little mermaid and how you went to the uh premiere mm -hmm. and i did not go and i'm still kicking myself mm -hmm. but i knew i would how, how was, was it? it 
Um, I did not go to the premiere, but jinx to both of you. Wait, you didn't? No, no I didn't go to <laughs> the premiere. Why didn't they get Just invite you? Full of did they not invite you? I was in New York. Okay. I did not get invited, but I was also in New Shade. York. I was watching shows in New York. Side but eye. My boyfriend and I went and we probably posted online as if it were the premiere because I made the entire day about this movie coming out. It okay, was okay. Just, oh, yeah. So of powerful. Such I, a, speaking of representation, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah it was, God, it was, more than that, right? Just it's insane. Disney. So this is my thing about it, okay? I'm sorry. I, I, I just want to say this. Disney magic is real. As, as, as much as I feel like a lot of people want to tear it down and maybe even assume that we don't believe in it, I feel like everyone here has, has a belief system based on that the world can be a really good place when people like believe in something, right? Mm -hmm. yes. And so that's why I root for Todrick the so The dreams much. come true. Dreams can come true. I, I, it's like, I love what he represents in terms of believing in himself and his talent and his story. And and, and, and that's important. That's super important. And I, the fact that he's a Disney adult is like, that makes sense to me. Yes. I am. I love uh, Monkey Airlines. Of course, <laughs> of course I was in, uh, even though you only asked me to do that, not me, but whatever. <laughs> How'd you meet Shoshana? Shoshana Bush through the theater Shoshana community. Bean. Shoshana, ugh, I'm getting everyone's names wrong. It's Okay. Hey, who's Shoshana Bush? Oh, that's a cousin of mine. That's my, like my very star. Jewish cousin. Um, Shoshana Bush. Shoshana, 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 Shoshana Bush. it's such a Jewish Shoshana name. Bush. Shoshana Be Bean, who I've worked with at Rockwell. We, we talked yeah. about. But how oh, did yeah. you first meet her and work with her? Oh my goodness, I was a huge fan of hers, and I uh, won the lottery to see Wicked on Broadway, and she was in yeah. it, and I spoke to her at the stage door. And then when she moved here, she did a show called... Um, Dear John Mayer, and I went, I was like the groupie of the show. Uh, I went 74,000 times. See, you're so busy. You're constantly supporting your friends as well. You know, it's not just your job. I love that. What was it like being in Kinky Boots? I wish I could have seen you in Kinky Boots. Oh, I was so excited oh for you. God. That was, that was, that was uh, hard if I had work, to choose, it? it would be the color purple or Kinky Boots. That is a really, really difficult role. Those not, heels must have hurt. It oh, was sure. my, my feet. I had to elevate my feet every single night. It was such a demanding show for I'm me sure. vocally because I'm not like a tenor tenor. Like I'm a Barry tenor and I can get up there if I need to or in the studio or yeah, you can but, get up but to do eight shows a week is that's, well that's what you're going to go back to in a second I know but Lola <laughs> is a Lola is Lola's is, basically Belle she's on 90% of the time yeah that. but except for that Belle is in drag the whole time like to go from being in drag you have to get there early to be in drag and then you have to come out and be a male presenting character, mm -hmm. then you go into an androgynous phase. So the wow. entire intermission is used makeup. to get back into makeup. Mm -hmm. And then every time you leave, because there's not enough time to get dressed in intermission. So they came up with a brilliant idea. He'll be more androgynous. Mm -hmm. um, and then he'll, become more and more and more elevated as the show goes mm -hmm. on. So every time Lola's not on stage, she's getting another element of makeup, then lash, then glitter on that. Like every single time you're off stage, it's just a marathon, mm -hmm. even backstage mm -hmm. the entire time. I don't know, I've never played Belle, but my face, like having to get into makeup, into drag four times a day, every time there were matinees and anytime it was a two show day. I mean, it sounds more like the beast, to be honest. Not yeah, Belle, yeah but it the does beast. sound like That's the what he beast. Had to do, yeah. yeah. That's a lot. It's time consuming. I know. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm going to send all the good vibes and wishes for you to get this new job. But I'm telling you, you're gonna be six to weeks here. in, and you're gonna want to come back here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. You're gonna be like missing Switzerland so badly. No, uh -huh. I think I'll be in paradise. I just. I'm good, ready to good. be back there. Oh, good. Because I also, with me, I'm so self-made that mm -hmm. I'm not ever just like doing my own thing. I, I'm in charge of the rentals, like the producing, the choreographing, the directing, mm -hmm. the editing, every single aspect totally. of my life. I've done 700 videos, and they're very detailed videos Crazy. and I just had to hire so many thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people to yeah. make this happen because who do you I, count on the most who do I count on the most in my life uh, probably for the my, longest for my best my best friend Jenny mm -hmm. is probably the person I count I've met on her right yeah you have yeah. and she loves you are you do you audition anymore since you're creating everything on your own and sort of do you even no. go into uh, no good fantastic. I don't you had, do you, love that? you had a really big agent for a while are I you, do still CAA okay. oh I'm that's what I was gonna say I'm glad then I'm glad to know that because I remember when you guys had just signed on to CAA mm -hmm. that was years ago and I was just like God I hope that they're working hard for you because you do so much on your own that it's like you know it's like with podcasts and stuff it's like sometimes they just sit and wait for you to bring in the money yeah, it's like it. I don't want to wait for I don't want to wait for no. anybody yeah. got Dawson's Creek <laughs> <laughs> I want to know straight from Broadway Dawson's Creek exactly <laughs> I don't um, that's nice shout out to Jenny <laughs> shout out hey, to Jenny, Jenny. Shout out to Jenny. You big name bitch. Yeah. Um, but you wear so many hats. Like, 
do, do you have one thing that you like the most? Dancing, singing? Could you even pick? The fact that you have to edit and produce everything. Like, I, I just could I never. I can't imagine you I love that. I can't imagine. <laughs> That's a lot of work. Yeah, I, I wish that people understood that because I get a lot of heat on the internet and I'm like, I don't think that people understand what it must take to do one video. I have people who have like canceled me before and then they produce a video and they have to hire people and they have to direct something or they, you know, if they can choreograph or whatever they do, they they take on a lot for them and and they will message me and say, I just have to ask for forgiveness because I did not realize how hard this was. And I always think at some point people will realize how difficult it is and they will understand. But the reality is 99% of the population will never understand. And, and I should not be waiting for them to understand what it's like because it is really difficult to do what we do. Mm -hmm. Even if you are somebody who is a traditional actor or celebrity that mm -hmm. goes to auditions, books a gig and then whatever, that is still difficult. But when you are producing your own content and you are your own boss and the own... It just is, is something that I wish that people could understand so that grace could be given to people that have to like, when you're creating content, it's just really difficult. But mm -hmm. sometimes they can't understand and the grace isn't given. And when do you let go of that? When do you understand and realize that? Like there's no more fighting to do. You know what I'm saying? Like I honestly am asking because I've never really had to deal with that. I don't know. I'm, maybe because I haven't put myself out there till now, really. Um, and I've been under that Disney guide, but I don't know what I would do. I don't know if I would respond or if I really would. You or give me names and I will go and I will, I will hunt people down on your behalf. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm here for. Well, I we think it just... takes a really strong person to not respond. I think the more you get it, especially someone like me, I'm a double minority. I people When, when I get put on the cover of a magazine, people are like, he is representing blackness. He is representing queerness. And so you're holding a flag that you might not have asked for, but you're you're representing something so much bigger than you. And those people who have been disenfranchised and they've been like put in a box and put on the sidelines and not treated well are very, very protective of who is going to get that honor of representing them. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes you're just like, this is a gig that I got because this is what I have to do to survive and live. I'm not saying that my experience represents everyone who's black or represents everyone who's queer or represents anybody who's an artist. I'm just representing Todrick, you know? Mm -hmm. And it takes a while for you to get to that point where you have to, where I, at least for me, I still struggle with it. Sometimes, you know, it, some weeks I'll be like, I'm fine, who cares, whatever. And then right. some weeks I'm like, I just wish I could explain to the world yeah. or whatever. But, um, but I think you just take it as it comes, and it. But it is really, really difficult. Yes, you have to get a thicker skin. I'm realizing that too with people and their opinions and comments, negative comments online. And stuff. I have noticed that. I have noticed that when I address someone and say, "Can I talk to you?" They're like, "You're human." And then whenever you speak to them, they're like, "Almost never." I mean, no one ever says these things to my face. Mm -hmm. And almost every single time, I have turned like some of my closest friends that I hang out with now were once enemies and they come over and hang out. We just had a friend the other day uh, come over to the house and she's this like gorgeous trans girl, but she is like, I did not like you. And I was one of the main people that was anti Todrick. And now Whoa. I will like cut a bitch over you because <laughs> she understands now. So I like that because it, um, the transformation, that's yeah. magic. That's that's dreams coming true to me. I mean, wow, to really change somebody's perspective and become friends after being enemies is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Who would you want to work with, besides me, of course, um, the most? Well, I would actually like to work with you, and I'm putting that out there into the universe. Yes, that's gonna I know something you know. No. She does. Oh, my God, I just called a call from Broadway. They want me, too. <laughs> they want us. <laughs> they want both of us. <laughs> Starring, headlining, both of us. <laughs> Hall and Vanderpool, one night only. Yes. In Switzerland. I would pay. Oh, my gosh. I would, I would, I would fly was... to Switzerland for that. When you fly for your concert, do you fly private no i fly like just regular not even like business or first i just fly in the back in of the, the plane car you went in, oh, in, in the cargo car in the cargo i'll fly <laughs> underneath the, the plane okay yes. but he has some very fancy luggage though let's do talk you yes what like louis vuitton no what are you talking about I've seen you with the Louis Vuitton online. And I things. have, I have. You I don't, don't take those with you. I don't take that with me. Okay, no, it's stay. more just so I collect those things for show because I think they're beautiful. I, I can't believe yeah. you're wearing a Von Dutch hat. Why? <gasps> well, it's first of all, did you see that documentary? Back. No. Uh, well, is what? he bad? Is, is he canceled? Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, oh, you can't get, what, what, what do you say? You can't get canceled if you're staying. If you, you stay canceled, you can't get canceled. <laughs> no, can't we were, get canceled. Todrick said that today. I thought it was so genius. You have to do a whole podcast on that or something. I love that. I know. I love that's a good saying. Wait, I have to watch this. What is it? A documentary about Von Dutch? I think it's called like Von Dutch or something. It's a documentary on Netflix about the whole how that happened, like how big that got and how I think it was. I bad. don't want to miss say it. No, 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 it's fine. We don't know. It's it's yeah, I don't know. I'm I don't gonna, know. See, I'm going to watch it because, yeah, the information might come out as like Shoshana Bush or Cecilia, so I'm not sure. <laughs> what did I 
to see Cecile? Cecily. 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 I said Cecile. I'm like, Whoopi. Is it Whoopi Goldberg? Yes. As well. Mm. Oh okay, so what character my would you day of want my life. to? Oh, he likes us. Oh, well, what else is he gonna say? This is the worst day of my life. No, no, no. no, no we just I would, it I would be the guy to say that. <laughs> if it was, but I've been so excited about this all day. Oh my god, you're so sweet. And I'm gonna do every favor that Christy asked me to do because no, one day I want her to gift her bell dress to me, and I'm just oh, gonna shit, keep that's saying right. that. He really wants why my is Betty gonna be so close to you? You just love. I love. So I love everything Disney. Yeah. I really, honestly do. Oh, why? What, what, Wait, so would you play? Would you play the Beast? Who brought Disney? Yes. Oh, he'd be a really great beast. Yeah, I could oh, sing I'm If so I Can't Love Her. I would do that. Beast. No. You'd be an amazing beast. No, I would what love that. You to what family member? Oh, I just loved it from since, since I was a child. I, I just, I grew up loving it and I always wanted to go to Disney World and I would always see the magazines and watch Disney Channel back when you had to pay for Disney Channel. Mm -hmm. I had it mm -hmm. when the Torkelsons was on there and Dumbo Circus. I used to watch Disney Channel nonstop when I was growing up. Then people always used to say I looked like famous Jet Jackson. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we talk, yeah. yeah. Um, Peace, my baby. Do you read music? I, I do read music when I'm in shows and I know how to read music, but I'm not great at it. Me neither. We but don't you know write. How. You write all this beautiful music. Yeah, right? that's true. Yeah. I think it's so interesting. It comes from my soul. Yes. Yeah, so I think if I it. did know how to read music, I would probably be not as great a writer. Because it's do so you technically write the lyrics accurate. first or the music? Both at the same time. Interesting. You have such good questions. Oh, do I? Oh, good. Well, yes. I probably. I don't know. I just can't really. I'm interested. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> yeah, I, could I write. write them both at the same time. And honestly, sometimes when I'm writing a song, I get the lyrics and the music and the choreography and the video concept. They all start coming in at one time. And sometimes there's so many ideas that I'm just trying to write down as many of them as I can before when, they they. When do the ideas disappear. come to you? Just like at, at random. Any moment. Of Oftentimes course. on the toilet in the bathroom. I was going to say, have you ever written a song when you were like having sex or something? Abs <laughs> not having while I was having sex. Because you have some sexy songs. Thank you very you much. Um, but the I, range on this man, he literally wrote a, a parade, uh, the whole tra song to a parade at Disneyland. Magic happens, yeah. Oh, I thought you were talking about the musical parade. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, no. move over, we, Jason Robert Brown. <laughs> Although we yeah, love we Jason Robert Brown, J.R.B. You don't know <laughs> this man. <laughs> so stupid. My gosh. He's got when, a beautiful voice. When are you going to go back to Broadway? That's what I want to know. I honestly, oh, that's so nice of you to say. I don't, I, I would love to, but I never, honestly, I mean, um, <laughs> I don't have an agent anymore. I'm not auditioning. I, I can't imagine myself ever auditioning for anything ever again. I hate it so much. It really took me back. Do you see really? this? Yeah. This is not okay. Why? Yeah. Oh, it's just the rejection is just too hard, Tadra. It's, it's so very hard. It's really, really hard. Yeah, and I, own, I almost, also, like, I want to do another podcast where I just ask you questions because <laughs> everybody wants to get this series regular, this sitcom regular, but I think it's really difficult for you to reinvent yourself once you've become mm -hmm. so synonymous mm -hmm. as this person that everyone sees you as. But, it's like... And but you're somebody who reinvents themselves all the time. So the yes. fact that you understand that is really beautiful. I like, can only just imagine me. because when I'm seeing you right now, I like want to ask you to say, do you own a lunchbox? Do or you, you care? got a lunchbox? <laughs> do you? Do you? Is it a Louis Vuitton lunchbox? Uh, <laughs> <no>. <laughs> a Von but, Dutch lunchbox? Oh, I would, honestly. Mm -hmm. I bet they do. I do have Let's a vintage do. Mickey questions. lunchbox. <gasps> I'm sorry, what? I have a vintage Mitch, Mickey lunchbox. Ooh, yeah. can I ask how much is that worth? Well, okay, it's you not a vintage. Okay, show. sorry, that's a lie. It's a it's a recreation of the vintage Mickey lunchboxes, but it's Gucci made it. Um, of it's, course they did. So, yeah. I feel like that's Gucci so Raven, sorry. <laughs> that is so Raven. Like, I, she loves that kind of stuff. You yeah. Know? She really, really does. It's really dope. We have yeah. some rapid fire questions okay. to ask you. Yes. Let's go. But doesn't Let's mean, go. Okay. Oh my gosh, we could have been here forever. I can't, I, know. I really well, can't believe your credit. Mazel Tov on being such a- Do you see why I love him so much? No, I have no idea. <laughs> it's really, it's gone over my head completely. <laughs> like ride or- I Thank you for bringing that. your gift, not only here today, but always. My gosh, you are so talented. Thank I, you. We, I aspire to be you. We're going to work together, and oh, you're we, not going to have to audition. Oh, oh, I almost got a little bit oh my God. sad. Oh. Well, I'm not sad, but happy. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know why. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you have to work with people drink. who already drink appreciate alcohol, you, you know? Like, no, no. <laughs> oh, wow. I guess That's auditions just, no. really affect me. <laughs> 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 so sad. You just got teary eyed. You're so talented and you deserve the world. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. You really are. The world is at your fingertips. You, I have, I have you should no definitely, worry. you'll get asked that one, but okay. okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how would your ex describe you? Ooh, depends on the ex. Oh yeah, Liam. Liam, Liam you ex. want to take this one? No, he's, <laughs> he's, not, he's not an ex yet. Ex, my my ex would describe me as um, passionate. Hmm. We've heard that before. 
Passionate, like passionate, like Both ways. like slice your car, like slice your car, like, or yeah. give you a slice of of cake. Got it. Cake, cake, cake. I'm gonna ask you this. I've never asked anyone because I don't think they care. Favorite Disney character? Oh. Since you're such a Disney, I Disney would fan. say Halle Bailey's version I of Little Mermaid. Yes. Today, that's my answer. I love that. I love that. Um, okay, you. Okay. Or, and we can do these two. The way to win me over is way to win yourself. The way to win me over is to show up when I'm down. Ooh. Yeah. Yep. Don't show up when, for the party. Show up when there's nobody there and the lights are off. That's how you win me over. Guilty pleasure? Oof. Uh, I would say Albanese gummy bears. I know that that's, <laughs> I don't know if that, oh, that's an answer that you were wanting, but I don't really have any guilty pleasures other than I eat Albanese gummy bears. Like, it's my job. I know. I can't even, like, I like You're gummy so bears. Busy. Like I can't even think of you like in front of like the Real Housewives, just like no, too much reality love, show. You don't I waste time. I love Big Brother. That's my favorite oh, yeah, TV okay. show. Oh, wait, you were on Big, Big Brother. Brother. I was on Big yes, Brother. Yes, yes. And you, and you played the game. I Very played well. the game. Yeah, you and sure I made it to the did. end. Yeah, you I did. did. Yeah, I taught her knew how to play the game. Yes. yes. Uh, dirty talk, no dirty talk. Uh, it depends. If it's dirty talk, I need it to be creative and feel authentic and organic and not performative. Ooh. Okay. Period. Um. What's, I, I love this one. What's your definition of amazing sex? Oh. My definition of amazing sex is when, uh, I would say when. Right? I know it's hard. <laughs> Why it's hard. Did you stutter? It's hard to say, I know. I mean, it's I, like I just one of like the that, obvious that you answers. You can't really describe it. It's like that time when it feels like you're dancing in the rain, like when you're just like, like running like free and you don't, you're not feeling like you have to perform or you need mm -hmm. to look hot. Like with it, I'm not a person that does like a lot of hookups. I'm not a part of Grindr the Musical at <laughs> all. It's not a part of my vocabulary. Please make Grindr the Musical. <laughs> oh my gosh, right though? Yeah, uh, I guess you do. I'm not a part it. of that. So I just think that I, I want something that feels real. It feels passionate. Stop this, Chrissy, do not. <laughs> Stop it. it. <laughs> not that I'm mad at Grindr the Musical. I would love to be a part of, to go support that as a patron of the arts. I will buy tickets to opening night of Grinder the Musical, the tour, Grinder on Ice, whatever, whatever it shall be. But I'm just, I don't like the, um, it need, it has to feel like passionate. Right. All right. I'll ask. I'll ask the the, the last question. Which circumcised is, or uncircumcised? Wait, wait, that's, that's not, not, it. That's not it. it. That was one of them. That's not but, it. That's not but it. this is the bittersweet last question because Todrick is just such a lovely guest. We love you so much. Oh, and I love you back. This has we, been so fun. Yeah. We can't wait to see what you'll do next and where you'll pop up and what country and what amazing thing you'll do. We'll see you in New York on Broadway. What Here. gives you your big name bitch energy? I think um, what gives me my big name bitch energy, the fact that I just live my life every day by the mantra, what would Beyonce do? I think I, I have Beyonce on my yeah. shirt. I have her tattoo right here. Sorry. And on days when I just want to fuck bitches up on the internet, oh. I look at this and I say, you know what? Just go high. Just do the right thing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What would Beyonce do? Yeah. She would just keep winning and looking fabulous every day and giving people multiple reasons why she's the baddest bitch and, alive. Yeah, un unproblematic. You consult yes. your higher power. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, what Period. a great higher power. I love it. Thank you so much, Thank Tom. you so much. Thank you so much. You're beautiful inside and out. Yay, love you. Mm. Yeah. Thanks for hanging, you big name bitch. Now come back next Thursday so we can do it all again.